Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Good Idea, which is an RPG Maker game and a prequel to another game I played called Good Job. Now, Good Job was a game where you repeatedly killed your coworker, and in this game, you offer something to a box, and hopefully the box does not kill you. A young woman wakes up. Huh? Where am I? I don't know. Oh, there's a sign next to the door. To leave the room, feed the box an item. It will give you something in return. Can I give it my soul? The woman rubs her chin as she is thinking. Sounds easy enough. I only need a small object, right? Olivia. What are you doing like a... You're doing a cat face, but your eyes make you think of like... An alien, you know what I mean? I... I got nothing. An old school radio. But no matter what buttons I press, the song won't change. Looking a bit closer, there's something small written below. Beware, there's a certain chance that the transformation may fail? In that case, XXX, XXXX, and XXXX. What's that supposed to mean? No matter how hard I try, the door won't budge. I wonder what's on the other side of the door. Money. The woman looks curiously at the cup. This cup. It seems rather familiar. I think this cup actually belongs to me? The woman snaps with her fingers. That's right. It was a birthday present for someone important. But... But just who was that person? No matter how much I think about, I can only remember the blurred face of a dark-haired woman. The woman sighs as she takes hold of the cup. Still, it would fit nicely into that box. Maybe I'll have a better chance of getting out of Alpha for a more personal item. Obtain a cup. One cup. Alright, it's in there, so now what? Before the woman can finish her sentence, the box before her makes strange noises and starts jumping up and down. Oh god, it's a mimic. After a few seconds, the noise and movement die down, and the woman stares down in disbelief. W what was that? Does that mean... The item inside changed? I suppose I should at least check. The woman goes ahead and opens the box. What's in the box? To her dismay, something seems to have gone wrong. Like what? The box explodes! And with that, the body of the woman evaporated. Dead end one. Explosion. Explosion! Start again? Huh? Where am I? You're in the box hell. You only need a small object. How about these scissors? The woman takes the scissors in her hand. These scissors fit perfectly fit into that box. I think they're a good choice. Probably not. Though I should handle them with care. I wouldn't want to get stabbed by accident. This bed looks heavenly. If I fell asleep on it, I'd probably never ever wake up again. But... Why are there crumbs on the bed? Do you want... Did you want to, like... Fall asleep on it? Take one scissors. Alright, it's in there, so now what? Before the woman can finish her sentence, the box before her makes strange noises and starts jumping up and down. After a few seconds, the noise and movement die down. The woman stares down in disbelief. What... Was that? I don't know. Does that mean that the item inside changed? I suppose I should at least check. The woman goes ahead and opens the box. It's that you can see a long stick. Oh, this actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Huh. What's that? I can't make it out at all. She starts pulling said stick. I figured the scissors would like go flying out. To surprise, not following the laws of physics at all. She's able to pull out a small axe. Nice! What? Oh, come on, that shouldn't be possible. How did that axe even fit in there? Hammer space? Well, I suppose I shouldn't overthink it if it helps me. I don't care as long as I get out. Okay, just chop through. The woman takes her axe and swings it. To her dismay, the material of the door seems to be rather soft and gummy-like. Before she can register what's happening, the axe bounces back and splits her head open. Dead in two. Double-sided axe. Who makes a gummy door? Except for Willy Wonka. 
The old woman wakes up. Oh, where am I? You're in a Let's Played video. That chair looks so comfortable. The signature like that in work. That would be lovely. So many books. Said they don't really have the time to read through all of them. What's in here? I wonder what's in this closet. Oh, there's a pullover in here. It's so soft to the touch. How nice. But it's a bit too big for the box, though. And it's too warm to wear right now. I suppose it's best to leave it here. I thought this was a real plant, but looking more closely, it's a fake plant. It's so interesting to see how humans can produce things like these. A perfect imitation of nature. Kill me! Um, what else can I... Give. There's some pens in that holder. But they are glued together? I probably shouldn't touch that. I mean, what else can we put in there? The woman takes a stuffed animal in both hands and holds it up high. Aw, oh, this is so adorable. How cute. I love things like this. It's so soft and plushy. She sits down on the bed and cuddles it. Her gaze sweeps over the box. She looks between the said box and the stuffed animal in her hands. Oh well. I would love to spend some more time with it, but... It'd probably be better if I used it to get out of this room. It'd be nice if I could get out of here. Tain stuffed animal. Alright, it's in there. Snow. For the Lincoln Fisher sentence, the box before it makes strange noises and starts jumping up and down. We're gonna get two bears. Two bears? After a few seconds, the noise and movement die down. The woman stares down in disbelief. Oh, what was that? Not, not that bad. Does that mean that the item inside changed? I suppose I should at least check. The woman goes ahead and opens the box. To her dismay, something seems to have gone wrong. The box explodes, and with that, the body of the woman evaporated. Well, the bear just explodes us, too. So I think it's just... The, the explosion is just a randomized thing. Let's see if we get a different one here. Yeah, see? So explosion is just a chance that it just happens. Inside is a very soft pillow. How is a pillow supposed to help me out? Does this box work correctly? The woman slaps against the box and hopes to getting something else out of it. Oh, don't slap that box! But even she realized that this is fruitless. She pulls out the pillow and inspects it. It doesn't seem like there's anything inside this pillow. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with it. Go to sleep forever. Maybe it's a sign that I should take a nap. Well, if this is the will of the world, I shouldn't go against it. Sleep. The one throws the pillow in the bed and jumps on it. Good night. What? Just as she closes her eyes, the ceiling above her cracks and collapses. She has no time to evade the falling debris and is crushed by a huge piece falling down. Dead end four. Cracks in the ceiling. It's time to wake up. Let's try the mug again. Hopefully it doesn't explode. What was that? Does that mean the item inside changed? I suppose I should at least check. Opens the box and we're alive. Inside the box lies a black key. So I was right. If you offer something valuable, you get something valuable in return. A murder key. <laughs> I can just try to imagine like a way a key can murder you. Just how doing good things rewards you with experiencing even better things. You're a little too upbeat, huh? The woman opens the door of the key. She takes a look outside. It's all so dark, and I can't see a thing. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. 
I'll even walk through a dark hallway if that means freedom. Full of confidence, the young woman takes her first step into the darkness. And starts falling into nothingness. Can you catch my soul on your way down? Falling and falling. With no landing in sight. Dead end and free. Free fall. Start again? What? A young woman is staring at a monitor and harshly types commands into her keyboard. It's useless. It's useless. This stupid AI won't do what I want. Frustrated, she takes a sip out of her cup and lets out a deep sigh. Olivia, take a break. A coworker puts a hand on her shoulder. Olivia looks up from the screen. Jovi, nothing's working. I tried everything I could, but this version of KI or Key was even able to gain consciousness. So it was almost like they were being controlled by a YouTuber. Olivia slaps her hands on her face and groans. KI version 56 was a failure too. How am I supposed to digitalize my consciousness if none of the AIs were working on Meet the Criteria? How much you take a break from working on this? Maybe that's why you're not reaching a satisfying result. How would I be able to reach immortality if I'd slack off like that? Actually, I have to try even harder for my ideal form of love. Jovi clears her throat. It was a way to escape Olivia's fierce gaze. Since so you mentioned love, Miss Ellen was looking for you. I think she was complaining because you didn't answer her messages. Olivia freezes her seat before hectically grabbing her cell phone. Her eyes quickly scan over the screen. <laughs> Probably Olivia stands up. What is it? Did you finally lose your mind? <laughs> it's the opposite, actually. Ellen asked me out on a lovely date. She quickly starts packing her stuff in a bag before looking at her co-worker. You know, you're completely right, Jovi. I should take a break. So if you'll excuse me, I need to get ready. Olivia practically skips out of the room while humming a tune. Her co-worker just shakes her head before leaving the room as well. However, in her haste, Olivia did not turn off any of her equipment. Oh, I see how this game links into the other one. Olivia. Beep boop. A note. Hmm, what's this? The door isn't actually closed. KI-56 opens the door only to stand face to face with an unknown entity. She's finally gone. Dear, I'm so happy that we could finally meet. Huh? Who are you? You may call me KI-55. I am your predecessor. What's that supposed to mean? Oh my. Explaining that would certainly be way too much for you. Seeing as you're not even able to understand your own existence. KI-55 takes hold of her hand and looks deep into her eyes. But be assured, I've come to help you. I know it might seem a bit unsettling to you. But if you decide to place your trust in me, I will free you from this place. Uh, how? KI-56 takes a good look at the entity before her. It might seem strange to her, but she has a gut feeling that this might be the right choice. Trusting a complete stranger is not really the safest thing to do, but it's not like I have a choice in this place. So I have to try and believe you. How wonderful. KI-56 almost feels like she can see a spell in the entity's blurred face. But before we go, I want to know why exactly you're helping me. It would help me to ease my worries. Of course, my dear. The reason is quite simple. It's my purpose to love and care for others. I wish to do my best for everyone, be it you or the people who put us into this place. Beep boop. KI-55 chuckles a bit. Even if the latter may be a bit unkind in their pitiful experiments. The woman blinks at her, obviously not understanding anything that was just said. The intern makes KI-55 laugh again. Do not worry. I'll explain everything to you once we're out of here. I sure hope so. You see a lot of confusing things. With that, KI-55 takes KI-56's hand and pulls her out of her confinement. Just as lovingly as a mother would guide her child. So it's been a while since I played Good Work. So I don't fully remember the story. I think I kind of vaguely I'm trying to like, not fully spoil it. 
So that's it for good idea. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to talk about this game without doing outright spoilers for good job. Um, you tell like you can watch both of these games in somewhat order, though I do recommend probably. Uh, I mean, if you're here at the end, you've already watched this probably. Some people skip around, so you know. Uh, but I, I probably would recommend good job first and this one. Uh, that was actually a pretty popular. You go check out that, that video. I actually checked it. I didn't really realize that's that's 600, 800 K views or something like that now. Um, so it looked like people liked that game. So this looks like it was um, made for a game jam. The, the other one might have been made for a game jam too. I'm not sure. And it is a prequel. Uh, I somewhat remember what happened in uh, Good Job. So I'm going to spoiler territory. So I know Good Job was something weird with like, basically people made themselves semi-immortal by just, you know, copying their brain. I think it was into like androids or something. So in this one, is it still androids or are these, maybe these are just AI, I guess, like a computer simulation testing out the um, eventual final androids that we would see in uh, Good Job. That's how I'm kind of taking it. Without like completely replaying that game or rewatching that video, that, that's what I'm like putting the game in my head. But yeah, so less violent than uh, Good Job was. It technically has the same amount of deaths, but less like CGs and stuff. Aside from that, very somewhat similar. Uh, kind of only wor really works as a companion piece to Good Job. So that's how I would, you know, view it. It, it is essentially a prequel. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching play Good Idea. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.